Hey Linwood, have you ever wondered why we celebrate birthday? Well, it's a, it's a little like having a birthday party for our beautiful, wonderful planet Earth. But why do people want to pick up trash, plant trees, and recycle? Why do we have birthdays? Well, in the late 1700s, great changes took place in our world. New machines that made products were invented. Things like the telephone, steamboat, airplanes, and even the first cars or automobiles were invented. In order to make all of the, these new things, large factories were set up. All these new factories create a lot of pollution. During this time, dirty water filled with chemicals began to run through pipes from the factories. It ran into rivers and streams. The water in some rivers and lakes was becoming so polluted that fish were dying. Children couldn't swim in the waters anymore. Smoke and fog filled the air. So much trash was being thrown away that dumps in landfills couldn't hold all of it. Ships began dumping garbage into the ocean. By the late 1960s and early 70s, our Earth was in serious trouble. People decided it was time to start working together. Senator Nelson Gaylord declared April 22, 1970, the very first, the very first Earth Day. People planned special activities like planting trees and picking up garbage. Pretty soon, lots of people began to catch on. Stricter laws to protect the government were passed, and people started to wake up. On April 22, 1990, more than 200 million people in 140 countries began celebrating Earth Day. It was such a success. People decided to celebrate this day every single year. So what can you do to help the Earth? Here are some simple, everyday things that you can do. Turn off the lights when you leave a room. Turn off the lights and any electronics you aren't using when you leave the room. Also, don't forget to unplug any chargers or electronics that you are not using. Another thing you can do for our Earth is to ride your bike when you can, or walk. Cutting down on car use is good for our air and our atmosphere. One easy way to help our environment is bringing a reusable water bottle to school. Cutting down on plastic water bottles means cutting down on excess trash. Last year, the average American used 167 water bottles, but only recycled about 38. In fact, we use enough water bottles a year to stretch around the earth. One, over 190 times. Just a few weeks ago, the fifth grade wing got a brand new water fountain. Come on down and check it out. Recycle. You can recycle at home and at school. At school, we have two types of recycling bins. A blue bin for recycling table products and a green bin for milk products. What's really cool about these bins is they have a list of things that you can throw in here on the side in case you get confused. Check them out. At Linwood, we also have a special program called TerraCycle. TerraCycle boxes are purple. We have one in the cafeteria and a few in the library. TerraCycle bins are for snack packs, little chip bags, pretzel bags, and muffin bags. You can also put drinks, pouches, old pens, and old markers in TerraCycle bins. And finally, do not litter. The easiest way to participate in Earth Day is to take care of the Earth around you. Don't litter and pick up the trash when you can. Encourage your friends and your family to do the same. So that's a little bit about Earth Day. But really, we can be thinking about ways to protect our Earth every day, not just our Earth Day. Go out and make us proud, Linwood. See them inside the earth.